Hello friends, welcome to Tutorial Days and in this video I am going to discuss about what is DOM and Virtual DOM. There is always confusion between DOM and Virtual DOM and normally a developer sometimes get confused what is DOM. So first I will explain what is DOM and then I will also explain what is Virtual DOM particularly. If you are going to learn React JS, then this video will be very helpful to understand that how React JS works. Okay. All right. So the document object model tree is referred to as DOM structure. Okay. Document object model tree. There is a tree actually, the structure tree which is called DOM tree. We will see this later. So here, the web page document object model. You can see here document object model. Okay the web page is the document the web page is the document and the html structure is dom tree so the structure actually is model just the objects there will be actually the web page is connected with different objects i will show you with practical example okay there are three things document one object and then model actually object model is same object model okay so mainly there are two things let me show you let's come here and uh, if we see this example right let's do one thing right right here let's remove this okay let's start here html and then welcome and then right here form okay form close then first name input input type equals to text name equal to f name id equal to f name okay this is very simple example right now uh, here button i'll just put a button here mm, submit okay now if you run this page in browser right so this whole thing is document right the complete page is document and now if i inspect here go to top and then this one is actually the dom tree okay document object module this complete structure which is generated here this is called DOM tree. So this is one object, this is one object, this is one object, this is one object. So you can see guys, the objects are chained together. The objects are chained together, connected together and now the whole DOM tree is generated. The whole DOM tree is created. So once again you understand here, let me repeat, this whole page is called document, right? And inside this document, there are different objects. What are objects actually? These are objects. These are DOM objects. Okay. And com this complete one is called DOM structure. DOM tree. I will show you with example what I mean. So let me write here what code. Script and script. Now, function test no argument is required so here I want to in this web page through document object model I want to get the value of this one okay so what I'll write here document document dot get element by ID by get get element by 
id id and then dot value so this is our id so document okay this document is one object okay this one is one object and its value this one is actually one object this f name is one object so as you can see the object are they chained together okay so this way if i want to access the value of this one then you can see one document is you can write like this actually this one this is also correct body dot document actually the whole body is document itself so document dot get element by id or we can write also this one document dot there is a form name somewhere name equal to abc you can write this way also document dot abc dot first name first this f name dot value dot value so guys how we are accessing the value here actually then i'll write here alert and then uh, B A A A A here on click on click this test function we will call and we need to specify this as a button for the timing type button it will be there will be no parenthesis only this one now if you refresh here and if i type my name umar then guys you can see the value is getting okay so normally this dom tree through this DOM tree, using JavaScript, you can access or manipulate the value of this DOM tree. That means what? In your document, using JavaScript, using DOM tree, using JavaScript, you can manipulate the page. For example, I am trying to access the value of this through this DOM tree. Then how I can access through directly through JavaScript? I couldn't have access got it so what i'm doing the first is the document then this abc because if you see here this how it is chaining this is document okay this is document whole document got it then inside this there is form there is form and inside form let me expand it this is whole document complete dom tree right inside this there is one object this object and inside this there is another object so we are chaining here and now through javascript we are accessing this so directly we couldn't have access this first we need to write document this whole document so now if you go back to theory you can see first there was document and then object model and we could have manipulated through object so you understand okay so the web page is the HTML document and the HTML structure is DOM tree now let's go DOM is combination of nodes and HTML tag let's see here if we compare this first this was document then HTML then head body etc etc see here particular HTML head body and etc etc right and there is node also so guys dom object is helpful in document manipulation using javascript because javascript itself cannot do anything it requires dom tree okay so you can understand that how dom tree is huge one more thing these are html attributes right but dom is also always this one is dom right so dom is always a copy of actual code this is your actual code and dom tree is generated using that code understand 
now guys you understand that what is DOM now let's understand what is virtual DOM okay that is actually actual DOM okay so now we will understand here virtual DOM guys we have already seen the real DOM now we'll see virtual DOM so if you are going to learn react js or you are learning react js then this video can be very helpful to understand that what is virtual dom and how actually the virtual dom works okay so according to the official website of react js what is virtual DOM? the virtual dom each programming concept where an ideal or virtual representation of ui is kept in memory and synced with a real dom by a library such as react DOM. this is important now let's get back to our real dom so guys you have understand this is complete whole dom tree right so what happens actually a copy of this a copy of this one is generated through react dom a library library of react called react dom generates a copy and whatever changes there is it make changes in copy not the real one okay i will discuss uh, further about this okay so the problem is that when we make any change in the data the dom tree is regenerated what happens whenever we make any changes the whole dom tree is regenerated okay so it takes time now consider the scenario suppose there is exam result and there are around thousand students record here okay there are 1000 students record here okay now admin can see that okay this data is not correct this is fake or mistakenly this one has been added here so he will try to delete this okay he will try to delete this data so in actual dom what happens when he delete this data then whole 1000 records will be regenerated so that is the problem when that is the same thing i have written here the whole down tree is refreshed so updated data this takes review time and also load time just imagine just i deleted one record but it will regenerate the whole page okay to overcome this problem react proud virtual dom which keeps the copy of real dom so when one user will be deleted it will be deleted from the virtual copy just imagine it will be deleted from the virtual copy then it will be mapped to the real dom and then only the affected row will be updated not all that is why react application are fast okay just understand through this concept this is actual dom and this is virtual dom so admin deletes only this record okay actually he will not be deleting directly here he will be deleting in copy okay he will delete in copy now in virtual dom now it will the react dom the react dom library will map that which record had been deleted it will check okay this record has been deleted now only this section will be refreshed and not the whole page okay it will map that which row has been deleted then it will delete only this row and refresh here only not the whole page so that is the concept of virtual dom and how real virtual dom works because just imagine if it deletes then it will say few seconds it will get refresh but if 1000 records refresh it will take much time that is why react js is faster than other js level so hope this video is useful for you to understand so guys if you have not subscribed my channel then i recommend you to subscribe the channel and thank you for watching bye bye